You ready? Okay. I'm ready. All right, Sean. Cool. Come on in. All right, Gary, let's do it. All right, here we go. Three. And why don't you tell us what this one is about, Gary? Well, this is the good ship Hallelujah. Very and, um, nice. Sailing through those spiritual seas and universe. Going right. places, right? Nice. Garibaldi. <laughs> Very nice. And how about this one over here? Yeah. The intention of the universe. Let's get a more background picture. Very nice. Moving along. That's a nice one, huh? What the hell? Yeah. That's always interesting. All part of the surfing experience. The surfing experience. That's why we surf. <laughs> Quite a visual for sure. That one's the silly grin and his girlfriend. Very nice. Presently working on this is something. Right there. With, what do you think it has to do with? Can you tell? Octopus right away. Oh, yeah. Right off the spot, I All could right. tell. percent of it little cropped off the top but it's coming in yeah yeah I'm Gary my name is Gary and um, I uh, I've been interested in spirituality for as long as I can remember it uh, accelerated oh number of years ago, I would say <laughs> 50 years ago. Wow, I've been studying spirituality for 50 years or more. But at any rate, uh, I got interested in doing artwork and uh, started exploring different artists, what kind of like motivated them and whatnot. Turns out most of their motivation was alcohol. Or or they were a bunch of uh, heavy drinkers, I will say that. Van Gogh, for example, and uh, Jackson Pollock, both of whom I admire. And uh, they had uh, severe drinking problems with uh, no real treatment available. They just had to tough it through. And they found uh, 
I mean, they became quite remarkable artists. Interesting thing about them, and most most artists of that day did not receive any recognition until uh, years after they had uh, died. <laughs> kind of interesting might be the case of me too. <laughs> I've been painting for 50 years and and I I paint because I enjoy I enjoy doing it. It's a spiritual experience. No question about that. And uh, they call it musicians have the similar experience. They call it the zone. You get in the zone. I believe actors do too. You get uh, outside of yourself. You become something. Yeah, you you drop. You drop all of the uh, pretense, and you just are going for it, being creative. I really enjoy it. I also like to write, and uh, and I read an enormous amount of spiritual books. And I've learned quite a bit. I, I studied uh, ancient art a little bit too, and uh, there was something that uh, uh, appeared in uh, ancient art, and it was a pine cone. Pine cones appeared all over the place, and I learned that the Vatican has a pine cone, a 12 foot high statue bronze statue of a pine cone of which I have a replica. <laughs> this is what the big statue Very nice. in the Vatican uh, entrance looks like. And so what's the deal with that? Well, it turns out the pine cone is the symbol for pineal gland. We have a pineal gland. It's called the it's also called the third eye. And uh, it has the tendency to get calcified what with uh, certain kinds of, uh, because of uh, certain dietary issues. And uh, it's uh, an important element for creativity, I have learned and also incredibly significant in a spiritual uh, uh, way, our pineal gland. And so I have consciously and deliberately uh, attempted to see things with uh, through the pineal gland, which is a, a visionary. It does. It it discerns things. Not quite sure how it does that, but that's what the books say. I have an extensive collection of spiritual material, a library of uh, hundreds of books. I would say, you know, close to 400, maybe more. All of uh, which are spiritual, except for two. <laughs> a biography of Van Gogh and, uh, and a novel. Portrait of an artist as a young man by uh, somebody whose name I don't recall right now. Very famous. Portrait of an Artist as a Young Man, I, I read it because of the title, didn't understand it, <laughs> which is often the case, but I read them anyway. Something, something may be happening. That's my plan anyway. And so uh, I write also extensively on spiritual issues. For my own edification, I did self-publish a couple of books, but uh, um, the publishing uh, 
industry is a difficult one to break into, much like the uh, art world. So I basically lost interest in breaking into either one of those two categories, and I do it just for my personal enjoyment in order to, and it, it works, it works. It gives me a, a feeling of uh, fulfillment. I enjoy writing a decent sentence. Like I enjoy painting a particular line, particular shape, get it just right, you know what I mean? That's the plan anyway. Very nice. And so that's, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. 